Hey guys, it's Fishy and welcome back to my glorious Manum to some more Call of Warhammer. So, we last left off, things got a little bit tricky for Manfred. So, what happened was, this county over here, the one which is currently besieging me, spawned two full stacks, uh, which just started teleporting around the map, which kind of took me a bit off guard because I wasn't expecting them to do that that soon. So they did that, uh, then they teleported past Manfred's army and started besieging this province, which had which then forced me to bring Manfred back from the, from the bridge to go ahead and defeat one of his armies in a night battle, which we went ahead and did we managed to kill one of the armies however i did take quite a, quite quite a lot of heavy losses unfortunately and also the army we defeated wasn't the best army if you look at this this is the greater army this has warrior priests it has horn hunters it also has bright wizards in like this is the stronger army so i kind of left myself in a pretty sticky situation but i think after the comments and everything you guys suggested i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna merge up this army i'm gonna go ahead and get as many raise the dead as, dead as i can which is another unit of crossbowmen which isn't a lot but you know i'm sure it'll add up uh we will also go ahead and bring up all our reinforcements from over here as many as physically possible to go ahead and help him. And I also found something out when I was kind of preparing for this battle was if if my army doesn't have a general in, they don't actually support me in a battle. So I actually have to go ahead and get get an army in my reinforcement army to go ahead and support Manfred in the assault. And then even then obviously he might not turn up, which is unfortunate. So this general, uh, Manfred the Fourth, will also come up and, and support I guess his father. I see him there like son and son and Son and father. Let's have a look, actually. Let's see. Uh, this is... No, this is Prince Gunther. Yeah, so he is his, his son. Oh, no, his nephew. No, his grandchild. That's right. Got there eventually. No, yeah, his nephew. No, yeah, his grandchild. God, that was hard. Why, why did that take me so, so long to figure out? So, yeah, this is going to be a make-or-break battle. We still have to go ahead and rally and defeat this Sterling army down there in the south. So this battle is going to be extremely important, but luckily with with Manfred coming to support, that's an extra 870 men, and they're not bad either. They're actually really, really good. So all I have to do is kind of just hold off. Oh crap! Did I say the AI could control that army? I really don't want the AI to control that army. I'm not sure if I clicked it or not. Damn, that's going to be really, really annoying. Like really annoying if the AI controls that army. Because that's going to go ahead, they're just going to suicide my men. And like the AI army, which is coming in, is actually really, really good. It's got Graveguard in it, it's got Golden Experience Graveguard. It's got Graveguard Halberdiers, it's got uh, it's got some Black Knights in. Like it's a really solid army, so I'd be really pissed if we actually go ahead and lose it. Hmm. And they'll be coming from behind as well, so I really need to be deploying up, up front so that my men can actually get up close and personal. Let's go ahead and just group these guys so that they're in, a, they're in a decent, like, formation. Because I really don't want them to... Oh my god, this music is so loud in my in my earphones. Maybe I'll just take an earphone out and it won't be as bad. Um, yeah, so I want to group these guys so they're actually in a decent, like, formation. Um, I should probably do my infantry next, right? I mean, that's fine. And then what we just have to... All we have to do is ungroup them, right? God, look at that beautiful army now. So much nicer. So I guess all we have to really do is just kind of just push forward and hope our zombies can kind of hold the line long enough for... Um, I'm actually going to get rid of that one unit and just have these these dudes. Because these guys are going to be in loose formation anyway to absorb all the missile fire. And I, Oh, actually, that's actually a really good idea. I might have it like a forward line of zombies just slowly move, moving forward. That's actually a really good idea. And obviously we'll have a crossbowman just behind. Maybe a little bit further behind than normal. Like an extra couple meters. Just because I don't want them bright wizards just to absolutely just slaughter me. We'll have our catapults up close and personal. So they can hopefully shoot the bright wizards like almost instantly. That's what I'm wanting. I'm wanting them just to open fire on the bright wizards straight away. Try and even racking up a few kills. Do these guys have like a good view? If I stick them like here. They can see everything coming out of the forest. Yeah they're fine. And they have all this cavalry ready to protect them just in case anything bad happens. And then we're just kind of missing our, our infantry, which just isn't... Oh, there's just none of it. There's just, like, no infantry whatsoever. So I'll stick one unit on this flank to go ahead and support my cavalry. And then the rest can just kind of... Well, this, these spearmen can kind of sit on this flank. And my swordsmen can just sit in the middle. Like, I just don't know what I'm going to do with them. Because they're not really going to make a big impact. 
as good as like they're up. They've got golden armor and stuff, so they're they're not bad. But I just don't have enough. So let's go ahead and just oh the bright wizards are right there. Cool. So just open fire on these bright wizards straight away. All my missiles as soon as they're in range, open fire on these bright wizards. Reinforcements delayed. Okay, that's annoying. But I guess it will have to do. Everyone who's in range to start shooting. I mean, I guess I can I can go ahead and just change focus of these guys. Kill the crossbow moon won't be too bad. As long as the necromancers are shooting at them, that's perfect. Because I think I just hit like four or five guys there already. And the cat. Oh my god, we've already killed two of them. That's amazing. If we can keep stuff up like this, we're going to be in a very good like kind of um, place of battle. Because if we can kill the bright wizards early, oh, don't mean to do that. If I can kill the bright wizards early. That's going to give me such a big advantage later on in the battle. Like, such a big advantage later on in the battle. Obviously, my zombies are getting hit now. I'm actually going to move these guys forward just so that there's no backlash. How are the Bright Wizards doing now? Seven of them left? I think a few more just dropped, though. So they're actually already charging me. Is What is this? Is this infantry? Oh, these are the, these are the elite dudes. So we need to, oh my god, why is this, why is this so jumpy? It's not like my computer, I've got fine, I mean I'm going to turn down my graphics <laughs> anyway. Like I feel like awkward turning down graphics on MIDI with two, like it's not my computer surely. I guess maybe it is, so we need to throw this cavalry into action straight away. Spearmen will hopefully do an okay job. Advance, advance the legions of, of dead, undead. As long as, these, as long as these guys are still shooting, taking up damage, killing these guys as best as possible, I'm happy. Bright Wizards are down to 6 now. Still not as, as little as I would like. Let's go ahead and get them back now. Cavalry can charge in and actually fight these guys. Yes, my Spearmen absorb the shot. Necromancers get out of there and start shooting some more. We'll pop our Undead ability as well. Probably tell all my missiles not to be on skirmish mode either. We just don't need it. Yeah, the reinforcements have turned up. Get over here. So I did actually mistakenly tell them to. Yeah, I did actually mistakenly tell them to go ahead and be AI controlled, which is actually really annoying. It's actually super annoying. So Manfred's gonna have to go in and actually. Oh, not against them though. Get out of there, Manfred. So the AI are, is coming. Where are they coming from? They're coming from over here. They just need to hurry the hell up. Because our infantry line isn't doing the best in the world. How are the Bright Wizards? Are they still alive? Five of them left. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. The Bright Wizards can keep doing what they, they need to do. We just need to be killing all this. Like, these horses and stuff. Because it's just they have just have so much cavalry. How's our cavalry actually doing against their men? Not that great. Maybe Manfred will go ahead and support them with a charge from behind. We actually managed to break a lot of their infantry. Or at least some of their infantry. At least this unit of infantry. Not not a lot of them. The zombies are, are swarming across as well. Which is good. Like This is our tactic. We just need to get the zombies across. And get these necromancers shooting again. Preferably on the horses. Yes, oh, that's lovely. Beautiful hits. Bring some of these horses in coming in to support. This is obviously has put Manfred in a bit of a hard position. He's actually fighting some better better horses than him, so he needs to be careful. A nice charge of our skeleton warriors, though, in the back. Actually managed to rout them. Lovely. Necromancers change focus, hit more of this, this bulk. How are we doing against these guys? We did manage to charge them from behind. I think that charge from behind really hurt them. How's the rest of the fight doing? Okay still. Bright Wizards are still standing, but I don't think they've really done too much damage. Thankfully. Manfred needs to get out of there now. Like, he did his job. All my cavalry just needs to get out of there, actually. We are actually still fighting their general over here, though. Manfred did get out there, which was nice. Where the hell are these reinforcements? They're over here somewhere. Okay, they're finally starting to turn up. 
You know, these guys, like, if this, these, this cavalry just charged over and started attacking their, like, infantry or missiles or something. That'd be so useful. We actually did lose all our catapults, though. I think our main goal here, where are these guys running to? Like, are they being chased down or something? No, they're just being annoying. They were being chased down, actually. Let's run them back to the fight. We just need to get them fight shooting. Are these guys still shooting? Because it's imperative that they are. Like, these guys need to be killing the general as soon as possible. Yeah, what's attacking me as well? So one, one, one unit of horse. I'd love if he actually killed Manfred. Just killed my faction leader. One, like, low man. Are they shooting? One is. I mean, is one even shooting? Because I, I feel like we're going to win this battle, but it's not going to be a convincing battle. It's definitely not going to be a convincing battle. Like, Manfred's army has been... Pretty much destroyed. Very, very like we just need to make sure we get these necromancers out of here. Actually, get because I I feel like oh god yeah we're getting enveloped over here. Our zombies are actually starting to fall. We just need this like greater infantry to get involved and kind of turn the tides of a battle. It's just they just have so much cavalry and I just couldn't deal with it this battle. If we go ahead and obviously help out, if we just get some hammer and anvils against these guys, I mean, we are using Grave Guard over there, so that should be fine. You know, if these guys start opening up, oh, the Bright Wizards, oh my god, the Bright Wizards are shooting Manfred. Someone kill him, there's only one Bright Wizard, please, for the love of god. These Necromancers are just going to town on these guys. Hopefully, I, I probably, yeah, I think I, I pretty much routed these swordsmen. Okay, Manfred, it's up to you, kill the Bright Wizards. Oh, another pretty brutal shot. I'm, I'm just hope he doesn't die. I mean, he's going to get a charge in before they shoot again. See you later, Bright Wizard. See you later. Yeah, he got wrecked. So he should. I mean, even though, even though, like, my army's been pretty brutally destroyed, these Necromancers are still just paying dividends by just going ham. Another good charge off against these warriors, like, these flanking hits with our cavalry are just winning us a battle. They're so good. Some more Grave God over here. I think their general's unit is actually around here somewhere. We haven't actually killed their general yet. No, oh, he's just suiciding my... This is why This is why I didn't want the AI to control him. Because they're just going to suicide my really expensive units. And it's just kind of frustrating. Oh, God. We have to be so careful over here. Because our Necromancers are kind of out in the open a bit. They could straight up charge me if they wanted to. So I'm actually going to bring my general back. All my cavalry can come back. Because protecting these Necromancers are our number one priority. Because I mean my general is starting to fall. He's only got 10 men left. Hopefully a few more hits here. That was a really nice hit. That killed a whole bunch of them. Still not actually killing their general though. Which was kind of upsetting. Nice, we've got Spearman kind of in flanking them from both. Oh, nice AI. That was actually a really smart move. They've still got so much missile cav left, though. Come on, we need to change focus and actually start attacking something more, more important. A lot more important. Okay, this music is a little bit too loud and it's so copyrighted. I should probably turn it down just, just a little bit. I mean, that wasn't even that. I think I just turned it up, actually. I think it was at 15, right? We'll stick it down at 13. If only it wasn't copyrighted, then we could listen to some more epic music, but alas. Is the general making a run for it? Come back here, you coward. I mean, should we just shoot him to death? How are these guys doing, actually? The archers have done a really good job at, like, avoiding these. Volley at the general. Their general's just kind of charging at me. God, 
Kill him! Oh, he's actually gonna get in there. That's so annoying. Oh my god, I probably just killed so many of my men. What's left to even kill? Just this is infantry. I mean, just cavalry, basically. There you go. I think we killed their general. Manfred came in and slayed him. God. Manfred is definitely our, 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 the MVP at the moment of this battle. Okay, he just needs to get back here and clean up. So we do manage to win this battle, but only just. Like, for real, only just. This has been a very costly battle. And we, we, have, definitely, we have definitely paid the price. Now we just have to basically... I guess just try and just regather our strength. Just try and build up as much as possible again. Because it's not like this them losing this army kind of hurt them at all. They're still going to be... Oh, it's pretty good Manfred out of here. Don't want him to die against these warrior priests. Because obviously these, this was just an AI spawned army. So it's not like they even committed money or anything else into this. They just got this army for free. So really they don't even lose much. And we'll just hammer an anvil until they, they decide to break, which shouldn't be too much longer. So I think that's everything, right? Oh, they have a few more men over here. It's like some routing men. So I think it is just the warrior priest left. Like the one man. God, I love how the warrior priest don't break. That's really cool. Let's go to end the battle. I don't really want to have to chase them down. I think the army just pretty much dies anyway, because they only have, what, 162 men, 68 men left. 58 men left. So I, I'm pretty sure that'll just round. We'll, we'll obviously ransom it because we need the money to rebuild this army. That's one of the things I actually really like is the ability to actually ransom. Because when we were playing with dwarfs, the orcs and that just couldn't afford it. Whereas this way, the empire can actually afford all the all the like um, all the prisoners to actually buy them back. Which is actually really good for us. So I mean this is actually quite a lot. That they rejected it. That's not my problem though. So that's good. We managed to go ahead and defeat the AI spawned armies. At least then, we still have to deal with the Sterling spawned army, which is, again, just as good as Ogres, Witch Hunters, Bright Wizards. It's just brutal. But what we're going to need to do, I guess, is we're just going to need to go ahead and reinforce reinforce this province, because this is kind of our, our most... Well, that's kind of like an empty province. I mean, 200 gold is quite a lot when I only have this much. I'm going to just build a whole bunch of zombies. We're definitely getting stretched along here. I mean, I might even bring my catapult back as well. Oh, we actually already have one over there. Because we lost a lot of men here. A lot of men. Especially, like, our elite men as well. I can't believe they suicided a lot of my actual troops. I mean, he can come back now. He can go back and retrain that. They can go back. I think our graveyard's actually built. Our graveyard is actually built. So we can actually start retraining a few of these troops. I mean, I guess it's most important to retrain these guys first. And there's not really much else we can do. We're kind of broke at the moment. I mean, next turn, we should, we're getting a fair amount of money just because we lost so many troops. But our armies are definitely kind of uh, spread thin. That's for sure. What I should do with these men as well, because I'm pretty sure these uh, human troops actually get free upkeep in a city like this. I think someone actually told me that, so I should actually keep my human troops in a city. And um, I also do need to get a blacksmith in, like, my, my human cities as well fairly soon. Because that will allow me to re uh, recruit some empire troops. Which is obviously pretty important. So now, the only thing I'm worried about is what they do across the river if they decide to move forward or what. They shouldn't be able to kill Manfred. I do need to bring back pretty much all my spies because I think protecting my generals are a lot more important than kind of scouting what the enemy are doing. I can kind of almost do that with watchtowers. Anyway, so, so I, I think actually having my spies defending my generals is just so much more important. Because their assassins are just going in at the moment. I definitely wish I turned it off, but oh well. So yeah, they're going to do that. I think I'm just going to have to give it up, in all honesty, and just try and kill as much as I can. Because yeah, I honestly just don't see me holding that with another army, like, anywhere. I don't think I'll be able to literally bring back an army and, and hold that. At least we got a bit of money. That, that's that's good. Long Dong is dead. No, Long Dong. Oh, he can actually get a whole army though. Damn. Did they kill the general? Oh, no, the general's still alive. Thank God. Oh, okay. Sorry, I was looking at this. I was like, damn, he can recruit so much, but it was just me being stupid. 
So now's the question. Do I try and save this province or do I just give it up and just try and kill? Because like, I'm not going to be able to take that on, right? Not in a wooden city, not with all this. We can obviously try and kill as much as possible. I guess we just move these guys up here. These guys go back there. Uh, and Manfred just sits up here retraining. I mean, having an extra recruitment slot would be so much nicer. Uh, just not having it is really painful. I guess we just keep on retraining these this, this sword infantry for now. Is there anything I can actually get to improve this? I guess it's just improving the city, right? I mean, changing with taxes doesn't help, obviously. Uh, we'll stick them back up to very high, very high. Obviously, we can keep the public order as long as Manfred's there. But what I think is just going to have to happen is we're just going to have to give up our province over there. Uh, where are our spies at as well? I definitely need to bring back at least one spy. The spy over here actually died, did he? Or did I bring him back? I can't remember. I think I brought him back, right? Oh, no, it's just two priests. I mean, one can just sit there. I mean, we can even use our priest just to scout for us. Yeah, we have one dude here. I mean, he'll go into this to protect this guy. Um, I think we just give up. God, why is this, why is this lag coming from? Wow, apologies. <laughs> it's medieval too. Apparently, that's too strong for my computer. That'd be amazing if a beastman took this province, but I don't think they will. Um, and I guess I bring this guy back. Because I don't really need to see what's going on over there. So I'd much rather have him in the city protecting me, protecting our faction leader. Like, that, that's, that's pretty imperative that we do that. Has our merchant not been moving all this time? I really hope he has. God, he's got so much longer to go. Damn, that is brutal. So I think our plan is just to give up that province. It's something we can really do. And just recruit some more men if we can. Retrain these guys to get better armor. And grave guards are really expensive though. I want to see what these wraiths do. So we're going to go pick them up. That's all our money, damn. That's a lot of our money. But I want to see what they do. Apparently they're really powerful. Let's just go and pick them up. A lot of you guys were suggesting to take Mordeheim as well. As we're so broke, it would be a smart... Look, look at all this free assassins around Manfred. Like, all it takes is one time for them to get lucky. We managed to kill one. Hopefully our spies just start killing them. Damn, no wonder. Like, literally no wonder they always run out of generals and end up going extinct. The amount of assassins are insane. We just didn't have to deal with this. If I would have known this, I obviously would have turned them off. Because this is just... This is just ridiculous. It makes sense, obviously, because there's so many different counts. We just have to start exterminating them. The quicker we exterminate them, the better. So I think we do fight this battle just to try and just to try and kill as much as possible. I think that, that's what we have to do. We just have to try and, and whittle this army down so that when Manfred or Manfred the Fourth actually have a better army, like a full strength army, they can actually go and retake this. Because I, I just don't know. I don't think I'll be able to. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to beat this army at the moment in the field with what I have. So I just need to use this as an opportunity just to try and kill as much. Because, I mean, we, we are in a walled city. So we should be able to at least do some missile damage to at least some of these men. And we do have a lot of infantry. Like, we have a whole bunch of zombies and stuff, which can't be bad. We actually have a... a like, our army's not actually that bad. I think I'm going to stick these skeletons over here, though. Well, we do, that's our general unit, so we need to stick him over there. Yeah, they all get ready to hold them there. They'll volley and then they'll retreat and let the spearmen up. That seems like a good plan. I mean, I can just volley up on them. Swordsmen over here. I think we're prepared, right? Oh, we actually have some swordsmen up here as well. And yeah, an entire unit of swordsmen. That's pretty, pretty vital. I mean, I guess we'll, we'll stick them just where they are now, right? Get ready to throw into the gate when it goes down. Cool, so just missiles. Shoot shoot these dudes. Shoot these warrior priests. Well, actually, I think we've probably been racking up more kills on these guys. 
on their actual infantry, right? On their, their halberdiers. Obviously, we'll, we'll change focus to the Bright Wizards as soon as they're in range. God, these warrior priests are so fast. I'm already going to have to get my men off the wall. And bring up my, my spearmen to try and hold them in place. God, my skeleton warriors are like, bring it. They're just going to get so wrecked. Come on now. Get off the wall, please, skeletons. Very quickly. Crossbowmen should be having a good time, though. Bright Wizards are now in range, but I don't know if it's just a waste shooting at them. I might as well just try and actually kill, like, units I can actually get damage on. Like, what is going on with my computer? Why can I not run this? I really, like, I am really, really sorry. Hopefully next episode won't be anything like this. But my computer's just dying. Like, it's not warm. It's, it's, the fan's not going that loud. Like, it's medieval too, for God's sake. Uh, these spearmen need to actually fully get up here as well. Is the gate going to be down soon? Because I, I might just charge out at them. They haven't actually done any damage to this gate yet. How are the crossbowmen doing? They're just not shooting now. Why are you not shooting, crossbowmen? Shoot at something, at least. Great swords, they're pretty undefended. They don't have any shields around. I mean, these spearmen are probably the better target, right? God, my men are... Oh, the ogres were actually leading these. Oh, that's so cool that the ogres are actually pushing up. First one's up, right? I mean, we want to we want to try and get in position so we can start shooting these warrior priests. God, I'm almost contemplating just not uploading this episode. I mean, I guess if you're seeing this, I have uploaded it, but like this is ridiculous. Like this isn't even a large battle, and I'm lagging. Like it's not speeding up or anything. I'm gonna have to try and sort this out, whatever whatever the issue is. I don't even know what the issue is. The gate's almost down, though, so hopefully we can throw in all our infantry. And I'm hoping the towers will just kind of do work. Just continue to volley. I mean, we haven't I think we've actually killed many of these great swords. Uh, yeah, I guess we, we won't have killed many, but we killed a few of these spearmen. Yeah, we have actually taken them down a little bit. Especially now we have these archers volleying up onto the warrior priests. Now they're shooting actually at the warrior priests. We should be in a little bit of a, a better situation. No, we should actually be able to kill a few of these guys. Those volley after volley should definitely be helping us out. Yeah, they killed a few. I think they actually killed two men that time. Or maybe it was already that. Zombies just push forward. God, look at that. Look at that horde. If only I had burning oil, damn. It would make this battle so much easier. Just throwing everyone as, as best as we can. I mean, maybe even moving these guys over here would be a little bit smarter. And we also have these... Just, I mean, I want to keep these towers activated, though. For now, at least. Until we have to actually, like, fully bring them up. Okay, now this should be much better for you. Like, you should be killing a couple every single volley, I'm hoping. Like, if we had burning oil with the zombies, it would just be so nice. It really would. But yeah, we actually killed a bright wizard. I'm, I'm taking that as a victory. Obviously, uh, we did, we, yeah, we're not going to kill any of these ogres, unfortunately. Yeah, we're definitely killing a lot of these warrior priests now. Having archers down here in the low ground is just so effective. Got our crossbowmen shooting at the, the bright wizards. Killing a couple of them each time now. Damn. I actually killed two of them now. That's awesome. Probably should throw this infantry down. I mean, these towers are probably the ones which are actually doing all the damage, though. Like, I think my crossbowmen are probably doing well, but they're not do going to be doing that well. Like, these towers are probably definitely helping me out. Until, I, I mean, I do desperately need more men over here, though. Desperately. Managed to kill a good portion of the warrior priest as well. Oh, this is probably why I stopped killing them, though. Cool, let's go ahead and bring this infantry down now. And we'll speed it up as well. Because I've like i I've got my task manager open on my other screen as well, just to kind of add on to that, that previous note. 
Um, and my computer is at like 20% CPU, 20% memory, 8% disk space. So I don't really know why it's why it was like lagging on Medieval 2 of all games. It's a little bit weird. But I do apologize. It obviously destroys the quality of a video and stuff, which is just so annoying. How many how, how many percentage? We actually killed 24% of their army. Which I'm happy with. Taking a quarter of their men off their army is not anything to be sniffed at at all. We killed two Bright Wizards as well. Every Bright Wizard we kill is important. They'll probably just go ahead and, and get them back, which is kind of a bit annoying. Uh, they'll, they'll just get them back through replenishment. That's not that bad. We killed a lot of high quality troops. If we kill a single ogre, we didn't kill a single ogre. Damn. That sucks. Okay, now we just have to wait for our men just to hurry up and die. I mean, if we got like a lucky kill on their general as well, that'd be kind of cool. But we're not going to. We just don't have enough left at all. Yeah, like it's fine now. So why is it like... Why was it lagging before? That's confusing. It's not even like I'm on high graphics either. I'm literally like, it's absolutely fine now. So yeah, apologies for that. Like, I, I, it really annoys me when the quality of a video just like starts lagging for no reason. Oh my god, the Bright Wizards. Look at all our spears as well over here. God, there's so just so much death. My one man, has he got back to the city centre? Oh no, he's up here, wow. He's up here somewhere, is he? Oh, he's dead now. So we killed 500, but that's not bad at all. This unit of zombies killed 128. Nice. I almost want them to go ahead and besiege Castle Drakenoff. Because if they do, then they have to attack stone walls and they have to go through a burning oil. Which is really just, just so useful. It's kind of almost making me want to go ahead and try and take a castle somewhere where I can kind of just hold them off. Like, it's kind of frustrating that I don't have more castles around my empire. Like, I, I obviously have Castle Drakenoff and I have Zufbar. But apart from that, God, look at all these assassins. I don't think there's a way to turn them off either, once you've turned them on. I mean, maybe there is a, a script input you can do to turn them off, but... I don't think they killed anyone either, which is which is good. They sacked the settlement as well, scum. And my army melts away. So you get you get in the city and start retraining. We got our wraiths on, on the build as well. That's like all our money retraining our army, though. But I feel like these are two solid armies that we can kind of almost give up this province for a couple turns. For a couple turns. We, we need to bring back this province, this uh, spy as well. To keep me keep me in the loop on what's going on over here. Because I actually have another army over here as well. Oh yeah, this army was going to come back. I mean, it might all... Might, oh yeah, this army's going to go into here, right? So do they get free upkeep? Uh, they don't. Okay, that's fine though. That was just something I needed to find out. I mean, we only get one man to retrain anyway, so we might as well just, yeah, just pick them. That's fine. I mean, the arch is actually really useful though. Because I think I might actually come across a river very soon. Like, very soon. I might just get brave and come across. God, it's up to you, Spy, to really keep me safe. I mean, you're actually, you're actually pretty good as well. province up here in the north as well is really undefended. But can I afford these guys? It's 3k. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Let's get them back. Oh my god, I hit the mouse key on my laptop. Wow. I guess we, we didn't want them anyway. They're just too expensive. I mean, we lose like a grand as well, which is again pretty frustrating. But having this money is just more important. I don't think they would have done that much damage anyway. So let's just use this time to kind of retrain a few more men as best we can in the places we need to retrain. I mean, getting another unit of zombies here is probably just good. Another two two units, yeah. And we still have a whole bunch of money to go ahead and spend next step, next turn. God, if they kill my general, if they kill my general, I'm going to be so sad because I'm literally going to lose this campaign. Like, I'm almost tempted just to restart to kind of get rid of that. Oh, hopefully we just killed all their people, though. That'd be nice. 
We just constantly keep killing their spies, forcing BI to spend their money on spies. That'd be a nice little money sink for them. Or assassins, not spies. We need as many assassins as possible. Oh, this is actually sick. If they try and take Mordeheim and they fail, because Mordeheim has a, a really nice amount of troops in there. I think in, in my entirety of the Dwarven Let's Play, not a single person took Mordeheim. It was Rebel till the end. Agent detected. Did we kill some? Agent detected. Agent found. Of course, it doesn't mean we killed him. Oh, he escapes. Damn. We just need to start killing them, really. Because look at all of this. This is just ridiculous. It really is. But I just need to make sure I keep him, like, have a spy in every one of my armies. It's just so important. So all our men are pretty much retrained. We can go ahead and get some more if we need them. I might actually get some more infantry. Just some more swordsmen. Just to go ahead and fill out the ranks a little bit. Because if they throw their men away at Mordeheim. At least one of our spies is taking it. Do I have two units I can just merge together to kind of, yeah, I can do this. And then we just continue re the slow re Obviously, I'm going to bring these troops back very soon. But for now, I'm just going to leave them here and make them just slowly retrain. Like, because eventually I want Manfred to go ahead and take this province. But until these two armies are kind of cleared out, I can't really do that. I mean, I guess I could just go ahead and take the province now. It's not like they've got anything in there. But I don't really want to have to go ahead and commit. Like, because what happens if they take Mordeheim and they just send an entire army back? Like, I might as well just take it right now. It'd be stupid of me not to. Right. So let's test out this theory as well. Apparently, if you auto-resolve a really easy battle, you lose men closest to your general. So I want to kind of see if that's the case. So I'm going to be taking zombies with me. And I'm going to take my more elite units just to see what kind of... What unit loses its... Its, its men. Obviously, we'll attack at night time. Yeah, I think that's the case. I think you do actually just lose men closest to your general when you auto-resolve it. I'll ransom them. They rejected. That's fine with me. I might just sack the city back for gold. Did they destroy... Actually, I don't think I actually ever had a... I don't think I actually ever had a graveyard here because I just didn't bother building it because it was just too expensive at the time. Oh, and he got a nice... Yeah, he got... A good trait as well. Gives them more piety, public order. That's good. I'll hopefully keep him happy, but I'm going to bring him back. I'm going to leave a, a very small garrison here. Almost expecting them to come take it back, just because I can't, I can't hold it right now. And they're, they're happy with just two zombies here as well. Ooh. Sick them at very high. I'll give us some more money. So even if we lose this province, I'm fine with that. The zombies will hopefully keep them happy. This army is again slowly retraining. Yeah, I feel, I feel like that was the smartest idea. Because if we were just going to leave them and wait for these two armies to be destroyed, it just wasn't going to work in our favour at all. I need to be very careful as well, because we actually have assassins up here against this dude, Prince Gunther. I need to be very careful about him. Because I actually only have like three generals now, just because their assassins are going ham. God, why didn't I turn off the assassin button? That would have been so useful. I'm such a fool. I mean, maybe... I'd like, I only... Oh my god, did they kill him? I'm going to be so sad if they killed him. Every single time, it's just like, did they kill him? Did he not? I guess it is kind of cool, though, that, you know, because I'm against this massive horde of people, they're just sending assassins to kill me, like, all the time. Which I guess they, they would be doing in real life, so I guess it's okay. Uh, he is still alive though, right? They just, maybe, I think we just kicked out an assassin. Or we kicked out a spy. God, this campaign is so hard. Yes, we'll take every freaking gem we can get. And we got a whole bunch of money as well. A whole bunch of money, which is amazing. I'm happy with that. So, oh, someone fell victim. Gunther died. No! Damn. Prince Manfred, so we actually only have two generals, or three generals left now, which I guess is good that we have three left. We just didn't have a spy here to help protect, and that really hurt us. 
really, really hurt us. So now we actually have a whole bunch of money left, which is amazing. And I think they both lost their armies. Oh, no, they brought their armies back, I think. Which is fine with me. I can turtle up for a few turns. I can go ahead and kind of build a few things I actually really do need to improve. But there's a few of these buildings I, I definitely want to go ahead and, and, and get. A weapon smith wouldn't be too bad. I mean, getting irrigation or even paved roads would be nice. I mean, paved roads are so cheap as well. We, we almost have to do it. I don't want to have to build... I don't want to build a graveyard here just because I know it's probably not going to stand for much longer. A vast graveyard. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I guess it's graveyard and everything above. We can get a marble workshop. It costs us 4k, but it does increase tradable goods and public order. That's a lot of money. I just can't afford it, I don't think. Obviously, it'll probably pay for itself eventually, but I just can't afford it right now. I think I need to be improving this city. More than anything. And upgrading to wooden walls. Because at the moment, they only have palisades, so they don't even have... Wow, that's pretty... That's pretty crazy. Do we have a blacksmith here? Uh, small dog of war camp. We don't actually have a blacksmith here either. Which might be something I want to go ahead and get. And it's only, yeah, it's only a thousand gold. If we get a blacksmith and then we'll go ahead and get some city watch. Because if I can leave just empire men up here and kind of bring back the majority of my men, that would be really good. Uh, let's go ahead and just recruit more men. We need to start recruiting more men because we need to be aggressive. We need to push them back. I mean, empire swordsmen are pretty cheap as well. They're not as cheap as our men though. Nowhere near. So let's go and just get a few more of our actual, I mean, we need zombies here actually. In all seriousness, we need like a zombie front line for sure. And we do also need a spy as well, another spy, if we have one. We just can't, we just don't have enough limits, that's fine. Where's our, where's our other spy? I mean, he's, he's so important being down here, though. He really is, he gives me so much information, but I just need to protect my generals on the move. I mean, for now, we can leave him there, because all we need to do is just make sure we have a general in, a, in our city and protecting every one of our generals. God. This has definitely changed the way I play, just the amount of assassins they have. Because all it takes, even if it's just a 1% time, all we have to do is keep doing that. And eventually they will get it right. So eventually they will kill my general. You know, all they have to do is get lucky once and Manfred's dead. God, it'd be so funny if I died for assassination in this let's play. Uh, that'd be fine though, we could just start again. Is that our spy dealing with them? Or is that them actually being successful in killing? Oh my god, I feel like my general just died. It sounded like he just died. <gasps> no! Oh, this, we actually might get a really cool battle, though. Another general, yes. <laughs> Come to me, generals. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did die. I think the prince did die. No, yeah, the prince died. God, what can I do to stop this? Please let me know. Because every time we catch one, another one just appears, and it doesn't look like we're killing them either. I guess what I can do is just keep winning battles and that will hopefully reduce the amount. Like I'll get like agent protect, protect, and protection plus two and stuff like that. I guess that's what I can do. <laughs> or maybe I can just have like five spies here or something. Well, I can actually upgrade this to a citadel as well. That'd make Castle Drakenoff unkillable for sure. I definitely want them to come forward and attack me with this army. Because I'd much, I'd love to fight a siege battle in Castle Drakenoff against a full stack. It would just be a slaughter. The enemy would not stand a chance. Um, this is a really hard decision. I have money, which is nice. It means I can actually build a whole bunch of troops. But it's just really wet. Like I, I guess my my plan is I just need to start killing the enemy. I just need to start reducing their armies before they can assassinate me all. So we're going to go on a massive offensive next turn. We're going to start mass producing troops as, as best we can. And we're just going to have to start going, like, we're just going to have to start being really aggressive. Because these assassins are going to slaughter me if I keep letting them do what they're doing. Yeah, I, I definitely can't keep up with this. So yeah, cool. I'm going to go into the episode here. If you enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like and a comment. And I'll see you guys next time. And fish out.